Now it's time for my outrage of the day. The date, March 10th, 1959. Pennsylvania germaphobe Johnny Garneau files his patent for the first food service table and the sneeze guard was born. Now it's required by law at all retail and self-service food bars, but germ-wielding scoff laws refuse to be contained by such capricious barriers. You've all seen them, the old man at the salad bar who sticks his finger in the salad dressing, the insolent child who puts his snot-covered mitts all over the dessert bar. Well, today, they all got a new champion for their cause when none other than the president himself made the defiant reach over the sneeze guard at a Washington, D.C. Chipotle, or Chipotle's, as he called it. Twitter did not take kindly. At Newsy642 pro proclaimed, Get on the other side of that sneeze guard, you monster. And at J. Green, D.C. called for impeachment and exile. Look, the president is free to contaminate his own kitchen, but when it comes to the people's restaurants, have you no decency, sir? Seriously? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> going to be another one of, of Vans Republicans it, it, picking is on every... A, is that called a sneeze guard? <laughs> That's called a sneeze guard. Did you see him sneeze? I didn't, but I wasn't there. Did you see him touch anything? I don't know. I wasn't there. <laughs> but what? the sneeze guard's there for a reason. <laughs> That's it. Johnny Garneau right. patented what? it for a reason. Yeah. What? I think that we need better things to talk about. Thank God there's a World Cup game coming up this weekend. Okay. Indeed. Indeed. About. That is more important than the health of our nation, <laughs> oh, yeah. Stephanie. Yes. Uh, that, God forbid somebody gets a cold hey, in If that somebody restaurant. does get a cold, at least we have Obamacare. Now, 